All right, Adam, thanks. Well, Schwamigan Bay is home to some of the best sports mascots in the entire state. Yeah. The Trawlers, <laughs> the Castle Guards, the Ore Dockers, but each program has gone through quite a bit of change over the past few years. Yeah, Matt Halverson was just a few miles away from where we are right now earlier this week over in Washburn to learn more about football in the Bay. In the past, Bayfield and Washburn have combined for a co-op football team, but that ended in 2019 when the Castle Guards broke off to form their own eight-man football program. Since then, Bayfield has not offered football, but the Castle Guards have been thriving. Go, go, go. So when I first started four years ago, we had 13 guys out, so every week was kind of a guessing game if we'd be healthy enough to play. Um, now we're at 23. And I'm hoping, based on some numbers I see right now in the 8th and 7th grade, that you know we'll have some JV games next year, not just varsity. That would be nice. Bayfield does offer other vol sports like cross country and volleyball, but Washburn and Ashland are the only football teams on Schwamigan Bay. You know, now we have a ton of Washburn kids, a lot of young kids, and hopefully we can just develop this program in the future to just be better. Set. Eight-man football can make for some exciting action on the field with lots of space and most of the team ends up playing multiple positions. It's like drawing a lottery ticket. You never exactly know what you're going to get, but that's what I enjoy about it. Everything happens a lot faster, so without tackles on the field, it's just center, guard, guard. You know, the quarterback just has to make something happen, so it's simpler and it's faster. They've been relatively COVID-free throughout the season, but they haven't totally avoided COVID-related scheduling issues. One of their recent games against South Shore had to be delayed a day to Saturday afternoon. We were a little lacking on our staff that day, so we didn't have anyone to speak on the microphone. We didn't have the microphone set up, so we went up to our guys and said, hey, we're going to sing the national anthem, and they said, heck yeah. What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last week. Counted them down. I have no rhythm. I was standing in the front. I couldn't hear him in the back. Pretty sure I was out of pitch for most of it. Uh, and one of our teammates, Parker, his, his dad said that uh, we may have said a line twice. Uh, I can't confirm, but it felt good. And the They didn't sound half bad. Tonight, the Castle Guards are on the road and don't plan on being a part of Applefest over the weekend. In the past, there's been lots of organizations that raise a lot of money during Applefest by helping with parking and being all around the area with all the people coming in. There's lots of jobs to do, so it is an opportunity normally for people to raise money, but this year's still a little different. And the Castle Guards are in Minong tonight, taking on Northwood Solon Springs with first place in the Lakeland East Conference on the line. Amazing. Our Matt Halverson is going to be there. He'll have highlights for you tonight on Friday Night Lights. That's right.